Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I have an Amazon sweater try on slash haul. I have eight outfits styled for you guys with a few handbags from Amazon. All of the sweaters I have like a little cozy short little set and uh, I think that's it. But if I'm forgetting something, every single one of these uh, outfits are gonna be linked in the box down below so it makes it so easy for you guys to go in there, check it out and uh, shop or you know, find the information that you want to. I'm also going to be sharing the sizes that I got. The sizes on Amazon are all over the place, so usually I do read the reviews. Obviously, they make it so easy to return and exchange. I have never used that, like I've never returned anything because I just make them work. And I do, I do tend to go a little bit of like on the oversized side of things because I do like my sweaters just a little bit more um, slouchy. So just keep that in mind. If you're new here, my name is Karina. I'm so happy that you're here. If you're not following me on Instagram yet, please do so. I'm going to leave a little sample of my feed in here for you guys to go and check it out and let's be friends there. That's where I hang out every single day and we can DM and talk a lot easier than we can here there, I think. Okay, you ready? Let's do this. So you guys, I am going to be going by the looks and then I'll explain a little bit about each one of them as they pop up on the screen. So for this first one, it's this little tunic and I went to a size small from an extra small just because I'm wearing this as a dress. I want it to be a little bit longer. This is the perfect dupe for the Free People Ottoman tunic. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. That's a pricey tunic and this guy here is a fraction of the price. Comes in a variety of colors it's just a really nice quality as well. I was very surprised and um, in a happy way to find out the quality of this tunic. I do want to order it in more pieces, but as we're looking forward into spring, I don't know if this is the time to start buying more and more sweaters. I am styling this with the lug, the tall lug boots in here and a little Chanel bubble bag. That's just a fun little edgy way to style this sweater. And for next look is this little loose bat wing sweater. I just wanted to show you guys in here because this is actually one of my favorites and I wore it so little. I just, I don't even know why. When I picked it up again, I'm like, I think I forgot I had this because the fit of it is just so beautiful. It has like a seam on the side and you can see it on the outfit as well. And then the bat wing in here. So it just shapes in your body, like the way it drapes in your body is really, really cool. Just a loose fit. I love the mock neck that goes up almost like a little turtleneck, but super loose. And I'm styling that with the Zara legging. I'm going to make sure and have that link for you guys below. If it's sold out, we'll have a an extra one, like a similar style. And my Tamara Melon shoes. I also have the dumpling bag that it's a dupe for the Bottega Veneta, you guys, and this looks so good. It's such a high quality and it's for about $70. These handbags from Amazon are actually really, really great. They're not made with leather, but they are just an amazing look-alike if you're looking for that look, but you don't want to invest, you know, two, three thousand dollars in your bag. It's not leather and some of them claim that it's leather. I hardly doubt it. So just keep that in mind. It's probably vegan leather. I'm all about the monochromatic looks so I love this look how it just goes together For the third look, we have this gray cable knit sweater. It does fit a little bit slouchy. It does have a little bit of a feel of a cropped sweater. However, it's not cropped. It's just a little shorter than the other extra long sweaters that I have in this little collection in here. I am styling that with a White House Black Market jeans with the seam in the center and it just looks so good. My shearling booties are from Mark Fisher. I have the Polen bag. That's the numero on. I think, or maybe do. I'm not sure. We'll double check for you guys, but I love these little bags here. I have two different ones and they're like a really good bang for your buck. They're luxury for under $500. This guy here, for instance, is about 300 and worth every penny. It's just made so beautifully. So I highly recommend it, even though it's not an Amazon Prime find. The pom-pom hat is a Nordstrom find and I have had it for a couple of years and it's still like top quality. It still looks like new. For 
for the fourth look is the sweater dress. I love the sweater dress. I feel like it looks more like a sweater dress than the tunic. The first one does, like the Free People tunic. This is definitely a dress. It has a rib knit on the hem here, so it just hugs your body like in such a nice way. Love the detail on the turtleneck. It has a cute little cuff. It's just made really nicely too. Comes in a variety of colors. This one is the size extra small, so I found on the reviews that they do fit pretty true to size and I wanted to try it out so fits perfectly looks so cute with booties or leggings I am wearing this with my Gucci belt just to give me a little more shape and my Paris Texas slouchy booty this will look super cute with like sneakers or even flats you know like depending on where you're going and what you want to accomplish and then you guys one of my favorite purchases is another Bottega dupe it's the chunky chain link bag it just it's such a nice little bag that I love the collar and this is the one that it says leather but it's like under $30 so I hardly doubt it it's leather Okay, this fifth look is this Doman sleeve sweater. This is a one size fits all. It's super, super stretchy, so don't be fooled by that. Don't think that if you're like a bigger girl, that's not gonna fit you. It will, because it's just super, super stretchy. And even for like the extra, extra small girls too. So I've worn this sweater so much throughout the past years, like probably two years, that this is the third sweater that I have. <laughs> like the same one in white. I also have this guy in beige. I couldn't find it. I don't like the material as much. I feel like it's a little bit thicker, but I love the little boat neck, the way that it is. It just looks very chic, but I've also worn this to the gym to like just over my sports bra and then with my like, you know, little leggings and, and just calling the day, like with sporty sneakers and all. So the way that I'm styling here with this Spanx wide leg, I don't even know if it's called a wide leg, but you guys, I am obsessed. This literally just popped up at my door, got here in the mail and I had to rip it open and style right away because the silhouette's coming back and I just feel like it looks so chic. It just hugs you all the way. It's super high-waisted. This one is the size extra small and then it just kind of flares out, but it's I'm 5'5". Five five. It's not too long that I, I have to wear with heels. So this in this case, I wanted to put the Stuart Weitzman little sling back here because it has more of like a chunky heel that's very small and the pants fit just tremendous. I love this outfit, the way it's put together. The bag is a Tory Burch Lee Red's Will, and I love this bag too. This is the size medium. For the next one, we have this brown sweater. I do like the details on this guy too. It has like a cute little knit style and a little bit of a mock neck. I paired with my A Gold Riley jeans, which I love that. I'll also leave the link down below on how I style those jeans in so many ways, just to give you guys some ideas. This is a really good pair of jeans that will go with so much. Put on my Gucci loafers with it, and the sweater is a size small. So guys, for the seventh look, we have a short set with the sweatshirt and the little shorts. He has um, pockets on the side. It is an elastic band with a string tie, so it's really easy to adjust. I did get the size extra small, and I feel like it pretty it, it fits pretty good. Maybe just a tiny bit more on the bigger size, so it goes down to an extra extra small, just in case you want it to be a little more you know fitted in your body. But this is the shirt that I'm. I'm wearing. I feel like this shirt can be worn with so many outfits. This is the most basic, versatile sweatshirt ever. It is more of like on the pricey side for Amazon, still under $50. So I believe this is like $39. And I'm, I'm pairing here with my Balenciaga Chunky Sneaks, my Bottega Dupe. This is a the cassette bag and it does look green online, but when it arrived, it looks more of like a grayish green, if you can see that. But I love that even the buckle on the strap it looks just like the Bottega one so I really really like that and by the way you guys like my little jewelry set here that I have going on is different than the ones that I featured on my jewelry video so I'll make sure to leave the links for these three guys here for you and the discount codes as well Okay, moving 
on to the eighth look, the white sweater. So this is one of my favorite sweaters. This got so popular over in the fall around November. It was like sold out because it's such a good sweater. It's the same material as my boat neck dome and sleeve one that I love so much. So I really like it. It does fit way on the oversized. So this one that I'm wearing is extra small and it just drapes over this little mini skirt that I put together for more of like a Valentine's Day look or whatnot. But yes, it's just a very, very cute piece. It goes the same way. It goes with jeans, with shorts, with so much. It's one of those like super easy to pull on and off. It does have like a center seam where the fabric kind of meets in there and kind of like shapes almost like a herringbone, like a herringbone shape, if that makes sense since. Anyway, it's one of my favorite sweaters and it's actually a really great price too and I am styling that with the mini skirt and the tall suede boots and my Givenchy bag. Okay, and for the ninth and last look, I'm styling this oversized cardigan here. So this is more of like a butterfly sleeve. I love the color of it. It's one of my neutrals and you guys know I love my neutrals, but I wanted to style this more for like a spring season. So when short weather comes around, which if you're down in Florida or anywhere in the South, you might be already having those, <laughs> those kinds of days where it just gets chilly at night. So I put together my a gold vintage pair of jeans or shorts jeans and then I'm styling that over it so it drapes really really well it's massive I like the extra fabric the cuffs are super long so you can kind of like fold them or leave them long or you can just pull up the sleeves it's just like almost like a blanket so I feel like that would be a really good cardigan to like travel with or to just grab it at night when it gets chilly on the springtime so styling that with my Chloe slides Gucci belt and the Gucci mini bucket which I also have a full review for the Gucci mini bucket bag. I get questions still on it quite a lot so I have a full review for you guys in there and I'll make sure to leave that on the description box below. So you guys tell me which look is your favorite from all of these ones. If there's a favorite here, I would love to know. And that's it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. It was helpful to give you some tips and ideas on how to style your sweaters. And maybe you just found a new bag too, because those bags are the best deal. So I'll see you next time. Until then, um beijo. Ciao, ciao.